What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Color, and I am here with my second Wi Fi battle video for Ultra Sun and Moon. Thank you for coming to this video right here. If you end up liking this video, you gotta like the video and then subscribe for more content going forward. Yes, we have another in game battle today. This time we're facing off against. Matt Brandle, aka Absol Blog's Pokemon. He has a YouTube channel, so I will put that in the description. He also has a lot of social media, such as Twitter and Instagram, but I'll put his Twitter handle in the description for easy access for y'all to follow him. He does a lot of shiny hunting and everything, but we also like to battle on occasion. So, you see, my side here, we have all three starters, like Primarina, and Sinuroar, and Desigui, and then we have a few other Pokemon, like my Lycanroc Gusk form. My opponent has Jellicent, Mudsdale, Noivern, Desigui, and uh, Komodo, plus Serena. So we have all six of those guys we have to deal with. This was a really fun match. Hope you guys enjoy this one right here. Um, we're going to start them things off by leading out with Vickervolt. Okay, Vickervolt is a great matchup against Shalosent. I figure he might switch out into something different because the Thunderbolt is pretty obvious. He goes into Mudsdale. I end up going for the Energy Ball, which is super effective against it. Now here I get the surprise of a Quick Claw activation. I go into my yeah, Xiao, who is actually not going to be bothered by the Rock Tomb. Yes, I get my speed lower there, but it's I'm still faster than it. See, I am a little bit faster than that. I get a critical hit. I was thinking he could switch out into something different, like the city Y, but either way, I just go for the knockoff. It was my safe bet. Noivern is next. And I realized, okay, Noivern can use Draco Meteor. It can use Hurricane. Don't really want to deal with it. He actually goes with a Psychic. Uh, Vickerful has really good special defense, which allows him to take that Psychic. However, a Draco Meteor or a Hurricane will probably hurt a little bit. He actually misses a Draco Meteor there. I feel sorry for him there. Uh, unfortunately, Noivern has a Lumberry. This turn was a cancellation because nothing really happened there. He goes for the Air Slash. Good on him for using that because if he misses another Draco Meteor, he's out. Um, but I just go for another Thunder Wave. We paralyze Noivern, which is fantastic. Now because he went for the Air Slash, I don't get flinched at all. And here, I think I am in range to get KO'd by a Draco Meteor. I could have gone into the Primarina then, but in case he uses Hurricane or another Air Slash, we're going to leave in Vickervolt. So Vickervolt, you did a great job in this battle. You're good to rest for now. And we can use Lycanroc. I don't want to use my Z-Power move right now. It's a little too early in my opinion. He goes into Komodo Jazz Music. Now it's the time to use Stealth Rocks. To discourage a little bit of switching there. Because I believe we're switching out a lot already in this battle. Which is crazy, right? I switch out and go into Primarina now. Because I'm pretty sure it's checkmate to Komodo, unless Komodo has Iron Tail or Iron Head or anything weird like that. No, he actually has X Scissor. X Scissor is not very effective as you see there. I just go for the Moonblast and that is going to finish off uh, Jazz Music to Komodo. I was very surprised it wasn't his uh, Z Power Mon. I realized that this Pokemon, Serena, which I believe I saw the video for it. He actually shiny hunted this Serena. And it has Bloom Doom. And he's going to use Bloom Doom against my Primarina. And yes, I could have switched out right there. Guys, it's a it's a friendly match. I can do whatever I feel like. It's not really a serious battle, I don't think. So it's okay to do this on occasion. I'm sorry, Primarina, but you're gonna go down for now. And we'll go back into Mion Shao and use U turn. I could have gone into Signing Roar then. And I'm sorry, it's knockoff, my bad. Yeah, and we're going to use U turn, don't worry. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Why would I? 
But in Cyber War, I could have used him. It has Flare Blitz instead of Fire Punch. That's why I was kind of keen on using him. Not right away, because Flare Blitz is going to damage yourself too. So we do end up using U-Turn there. I was a little off on that earlier, but it's okay. Now we can use in Cyber War. Um, this works out great because Matt brings out Jellison, and Jellison is part Ghost. So, Dark Hysteria, a dark type move, is going to finish off the Jellicent just as easily there. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we have to deal with Noivern. And Noivern is going to get hit by the Skullthross. He's pretty slow, and I'm like, alright, what can I do here? So I just go for Flare Blitz. It's not going to take it out necessarily, but he gets paralyzed there. I was actually giving him a chance to KO me. But, he just doesn't do it. it. It just doesn't work out. So yeah, I kind of use will wisp purely on accident on purpose. You know, accidentally on purpose. But, it's good. I'm just trying to make it fair. That's why I'm making these weird plays right now. Don't worry, nothing crazy is happening. Uh, he actually uses the time to roost up. But now, I get to reveal my Z-Power. The splintered storm shards, and it's gonna finish off the Noivern. Unless he has a focus sash, in which case I probably broke it because of the stealth rocks. So here's splintered storm shards, and this animation is pretty awesome. Look at that! It's this is why I like Z Power animations so much because they they really put in a lot of effort into these Z Power moves. They're just so good. So Noivern is out. Oh my goodness, that is a really powerful move coming from Lycanroc. Alright, this is, uh, I believe this is his last Pokemon, Toon Link, the Desigui. And I am faster than it. I guess go for the Scamping Tantrum. I believe it's a brand new move. Uh, Lycanroc is going to go down here as a result, but that's okay because I still have my other Pokemon available that I can use, such as my other Desigui. Or, wow, I said that so on my head, but it's okay. I have my own Desigui, which this particular this particular Desigui is Mass HP and Mass Attack. So a Sucker Punch is going to not do as much as I thought it was going to do, but we go for the Brave Bird over Spirit Shackle. Uh, you know what, it's fine. And we finish off Matt's Pokemon there. So yes, it was a fast-paced battle, but I enjoyed it so much. Hope you guys enjoyed that one too. And I will be having another battle with Ruin's Way or uh, Pokemon Battle Network. And then later on, I will have newer Pokemon to try out in the near future. So if you guys enjoyed the match, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, trainers.